thought I'd go ahead and show you these. Um, this is the first bike I've ever had that actually has tech built into it. So it's got GPS, got audio controls for like music where it integrates with Bluetooth with your cell phone. And uh, these are some just cheap Bluetooth helmet headphones that I got off of Amazon. And they were around 30 bucks. Um, and they actually have really good sound quality. But anyways, they come in. I installed them in my helmet. Now, normally, I don't even wear a helmet at all unless it's either cool outside or I know it's going to be raining. So, I didn't want to spend a lot of money because it's not going to be something I'm going to want all the time. So, I just picked these up. I stuck them in a helmet. Insulation pretty straightforward. They actually just stick right to the fabric. And then you use a little... Uh, piece of tape to hold the microphone there in the front so I'm going to uh, you turn these on Let's see if I can find this kind of hard to do one-handed turn these on by pressing this button here power on. this power on and then uh, I'm gonna turn the bike on and actually make sure the audio stuff uh, shows up correctly so I'll bring you right back in a minute So yeah, it actually does work. I'm going to go ahead and head down the road and go for a ride. Okay, so here's what I found out on this test drive to check out these um, Bluetooth uh, speakers with the microphone. You don't want to pair the speakers and the microphone with your phone. Because if you do that, you lose the ability to control the volume by your um, switches on your handlebars. What you want to do is you want to pair your phone to the motorcycle and then pair the Bluetooth speakers and microphone to the motorcycle. And then in the Bluetooth settings on your phone, you set the audio output to the motorcycle. Then when you do that, that allows you to control the volume and also like forward and back or skip music or next or previous or whatever you want to do. But they work pretty good. They sound pretty decent. Um, they're not like, you know, high-end quality sounding. But they got just enough bass and just enough mids and just enough treble to sound pretty good on a motorcycle. Uh, I can hear the music above the exhaust. Didn't have any issues. They pair well, you know, with, you know, everything I paired them with. They actually did work with the phone, but like I said, you just you lose the ability to control the volume uh, if you pair it with your phone. You would have to take your phone out and turn the volume up and down, that sort of thing, which just kind of made it like a pain in the butt. But uh, yeah, so I come back and I basically paired, unpaired it, the BT-30, I unpaired that with the uh, phone. Then I put it in pairing mode and paired it with the motorcycle. And also, you know, my phone's already paired with the motorcycle and with it. When it was done that way, I could control the volume, forward, back, change tracks, etc. So that worked out pretty good. I think it's well worth, you know, the money. There is probably, you know, speakers that sound better. Um, not to say they sound bad, they just, you know used to be a musician i'm kind of particular about how my music sounds but you know for me it's good enough and if i'm saying it's good enough when i have a pretty uh high requirements out of my audio that should say enough and they're cheap enough to not break the bank so if you're like me and you don't wear a helmet too often but when you do wear a helmet you'd like to hear something uh these worked out pretty good for the motorcycle uh, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description where you can get these at on Amazon to the exact ones that I got. They worked out really well, and I have no problems recommending them now. Probably not the best lighting, but 
Um, wanted to give an update on the BT-30. Uh, yesterday I did a ride. It was the first long ride on the 2023 Indian Chief Bobber Dark Horse. I did 378 miles uh, between noon and about 8.30 p.m. Um, something that was kind of interesting was that I averaged 50 miles per gallon. Now that was twisty, winding back roads um, with blind curves and some highway and some interstate speeds also. I basically had several stops to make and a great big huge loop. And uh, I posted about it sort of on my Instagram. I didn't actually post the route, but I talked about it because um, prior to putting the GP Shorty pipes on, I was averaging about 42 miles per gallon, and once I did this ride, um, I was averaging 50 miles per gallon. So I don't know if that's the result of the short pipes, or result of the less weight, or what the deal was, but I definitely got way better gas mileage. Anyways, on a 378 mile ride, the BT-30s, they work great. There was one issue that I had with them, they never disconnected any of that time. Um, my phone battery lasted, you know, it's a eight and a half hour ride. My phone battery lasted. I would had to put it on battery saver like the last two hours just because my phone battery wasn't able to keep up. But the BT-30s, they worked flawlessly. Decent sound. I mean, it's not like in a car because you got the wind noise that creeps into your helmet. You've got uh, the bike noise from the exhaust. You know, but it is music, and it did make the ride much more enjoyable. Um, the controls on the Chief Bobber worked flawlessly. If I needed to skip a song or something like that, or pause or play, all that worked. No problems. The volume was not all the way up on the Indian Chief Bobber. It was about... Oh, near all the way. It was pretty close to the top, but two or three more clicks up from being wide open. Um, and so the one issue that I had was the speaker that was on this side, I didn't have adjusted correctly. So it was kind of like halfway on my face and halfway on my ear. And so my ear is a little sore today because it was putting so much pressure up against it. Just there was a pressure point there and not a big deal. Not not like a fault of this BT-30 speakers or Bluetooth system itself. Just a fault of me. Anyways, I want to wrap this up. I just wanted to update this. After 378 miles, the BT-30s were great. The bike worked great. Great ride. And um, we'll see what happens next. Thanks for watching. Anyways, thanks for watching and safe riding.